information if you can't see it. I know it's pretty dark. Okay, so water pressure can be measured by atmospheres, which is called ATM. I had no idea. This was I pulled this out of a book. Okay, so if I'm looking at this, it says at zero meters. So as a person is diving at zero meters, the pressure or the ATM is one. Okay, so that's pressure coming in on you, right? The deeper you get, the more pressure there is. You guys hopefully know that. Okay, so the pressure increases by 0.1 ATM slash minute. Remember, slash means per. Okay, so this is a fancy way right here of just saying 0.1 ATM per minute. Does that make sense? So it doesn't matter if I put a little slash there. I know you can't see it real well, but if I put a slash there or per, it means the same thing. Okay? It's telling me it's the what? The slope. The slope. Okay? So we know that this guy right here is my slope. So slope equals 0 0.01. Does that make sense? Okay? So let's kind of come back up here towards the top. At zero meters, so think about this for a second. At zero meters, the pressure is one. That's how you write that in a quarter point form. Okay, so at zero, your input, output, remember input, output, input zero, output one, okay? So input zero, output one, what does that look like to you? Y intercept. Y intercept, right? That's your B value. We talked about that on the front side. Zero number, that was the same thing as B. So B equals one. Okay, does everybody see that so far? Okay, so first thing it says, it says use the information in the diagram to write an equation that models Y pressure, Excuse me, at a depth of x meters. Okay, so who thinks they can write the equation? Ashley? Um, y equals 0.1x plus 1. I think that was great. Okay, now graph it. Okay, so now we're going to have to come up with a, a graph here. Okay, so we know that we're going to start at 1. Okay, so we know that on our y, we want to start that at 1, but on our slope, it's 0.1. Okay, so if I'm thinking about point one, what, how am I going to graph that? What are we going to do? Because do we really want to go point one over one, point one over one? I mean, that's probably not going to work so well. So what would point one as a fraction be? Oh, you guys are killing me. Point one as a fraction. Oh, that would be point five, right? Point five is one half. Oh, you guys are killing me right now. Okay. So if I have, he just said 0.5, well, 0.5, would you guys agree that that's 5 over 10 or 1 half? Right? So what's 0.1? There we go, 1 over 10, right? So 0.3 would be 3 over 10. Does that go back just a little bit? Okay, so we're kind of thinking about it. Sometimes I think it's easier to put the decimals into fractions. That way you can do it. So now if I'm thinking about slope, 1 over 10, up 1 over 10, up 1 over 10. Is that a little bit better on the graphing? I think so too, okay? So we know that we're going to start at 1. So I'm going to go ahead and just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, just do a couple. So we know we start at 1. Is everybody okay with that? On your y-axis, everybody starts at 1. And then my slope, we said, was what? Up 1 over... Okay, so if I'm going to go up 1 over 10, I'm going to go ahead. You guys can count these. Maybe we'll just say 5, 10, 15, 20, just to spread it out a little bit. 45, 30. So up 1 over 10. Up 1 over 10. Up 1 over 10. Is everybody kind okay, of okay with that? So remember, you guys get to pick your number in here. Okay? So you can spread it out or make it really condensed. You get to do whatever you kind of want there. There's going to be lots of right answers on that. Okay? Then draw your line. Do you ever remember how to graph y equals mx plus b? I mean, is that coming back to you a little bit, how to graph that? So this is your start point, right? You start at 1 on your y-axis, and then your slope, we said that this was 1 over 10. Rise 1, run 10, rise 1, run 10. Is that coming back to you a little bit? Okay. So now, what did they tell you up in A? What is x? x is what? 3. Up on A. x is what? Meters. Okay, so x, we're going to label meters. They're going to tell you what to label it. You don't even have to think about it. And what is your Y? Pressure. The pressure or the ATM. So pressure, which is the same thing. If you put ATM, I would have gave that to you as well. 
Okay, and what kind of title do you want to give this? Diver, great, yes, good job, guys. So, something about diver, diving. I can get it right. Okay? All right, so now the question is, what is a diver's pressure at a depth of 500 meters? Okay, so where do we plug in 500 at? On the X, right? X is meters, right? So we're going to plug five in, 500 in right there. Okay, so we're going to have Y equals 0.1 times 500 plus 1. All right, so what happens when we take 500 times 0.1? <laughs> it's going to be rough, I'm afraid. What happens? 500 times 0.1 is? Huh? About 5. 50. 50, right? One decimal, bring it in one. So it's just 50 plus 1. Yeah, no. Yeah. So we end up with 51 what? 51, what are we talking about? What's Y? ATMs. Okay, ATMs. So at 500 meters down, the pressure on your body is 51 ATMs. That's what that means. 500, right? Okay, does anybody have a question on that? Okay. Let's go ahead and teach homework to you.